Now without a material selected, right click on this cube and you can go ahead and leave it at the defaults, just check hollow, build and then close and then you want the CSG add button. So what we've just done is we built a hollow cube and we're going to go ahead and bring this head into that cube and you can center it up however you want, it doesn't matter really. Alright, and right now there's no lighting in here. So, let's go ahead and add a light. You can press and hold L to add a static light. And static means that it can't move at all. Or, you can go here, under actor class, under lights, point light movable. And you can add that. And that'll be a dynamic light that you can move around in matinee. Okay, oh, there's one other thing we need. Go to Actor Class, Common, Camera, and add a camera. Hit this little eye button, and then click on your camera. And now, anywhere you move your viewport, you will also move your camera. So the camera is attached to my viewport right now, so we can set the starting position of our camera. Okay, now hit that little eye again to turn it off, don't forget that. And here's where my camera moved. Alright, let's open up Kismet, right click, and go to New Matinee. Double click on that, and here is my Matinee project opened up. First we'll go ahead and add the camera. So with your camera selected, right click, Add New Camera, and go ahead and name it whatever you want. And this is going to give you a, a movement track for your camera. And you also want to right click and go to New Director Group. This will allow you to set your view through your camera. So with your director track selected, hit Enter. And make sure Camera 1 is selected and click OK. Then click on this little camera button here. And then you can see now you're looking through the camera. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add this light, so select the light, right click, new empty group, name it whatever you want, right click on that with the light, right click on that, go down to movement track, and this will allow you to move the light. Now one thing we'll go ahead and do before we forget it, with your light selected, click, er, with your light selected, either double click it or press F4. And you need to go to movement and set physics to fizz interpolating. Otherwise it won't animate correctly. Okay, now there's only one last thing we need to add still. Let's get the ge generic browser back up. Okay select your texture, or select your material, right click back in matinee, click new empty group, and here we'll say damage material now with that selected right click on it and say new float material param track now down in, in the param tracks properties put, click this little plus button next to the material and you need to go and put in your material that you have here so click that little green arrow now the param name is going to be the same thing that we named our damage parameter so damaged you can go and copy that if you want it exactly or you can just type it if you know what it is. Alright. Now what we can do is we can drive the dynamic material through matinee 
right here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do... Actually, let's go ahead and rebuild lighting first, just because we're here already. Um, now, you really should go and create a light mass importance volume. Oh, and mine seems to have gotten off a little bit. Alright, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set mine to production quality lighting. Um, but you might want preview quality or, um, you know, any, anywhere in between. And then I'm going to go ahead and rebuild all. So this will rebuild both your lighting and all of your geometry. Okay, it shouldn't take long because it's a small room. And it's dynamic lighting. Alright, so now let's go back into our matinee project. And let's give the camera a simple animation here. So click on movement. Add a keyframe by pressing enter somewhere along the timeline. And then anywhere you move this camera, it will interpolate between the two. So, alright, that's our camera animation right now. And while we've got movement selected, let's go ahead and turn on quad interpolation. Um, sometimes, uh, if you have that turn off, it'll just get a little screwy. I don't know. So, alright, so now we've got a simple camera movement. Alright, so now let's let it sit there for about a second and then move back. So, what we have to do, what you have to do to get a keyframe that's like any of the others you have. You have to go and click on it, and then press enter again to create a new keyframe. And then while pressing control down and holding it, you can drag that keyframe out to wherever you want it. So now, our camera comes out here, pauses for a second, and then it'll head on back to where it started. So you can either press play or hit the spacebar, then it'll play through. Alright. Now, about the time when our camera stops to pause, <coughs> go down to your material parameter and press enter. And then let's add another one at the end here. Now, if you right click on that, you can go set value. And this will set the value of our parameter within our texture. So let's change that to 1. Oh, my parameter name is off a little bit. Okay, so damaged. Yep, here we go. Now look at this. Now that's why the parameter name is so important. You have to make sure it's exact. Now that we've got that, with this value being 1 over here, watch this. So you can see it will go between those two. You can see it, it'll fade um, from one to the other. So now let's make our matinee a little bit longer. You click on this little red thing here, this red triangle, and drag it out. Uh, let's make it 10 seconds, I guess. Alright. Now, the camera moves back, and then let's actually have the light move around. Let's try that out. So press enter to put the, the starting keyframe. And then about 7 seconds in, let's go ahead, and this is the top view over here. Let's go ahead and drag this light behind him. Just by a bit here, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so there the light goes. And while you've got your viewport selected here, you can press G to hide all the extra stuff. So there's the light moving past him. So now, let's move the light back in front of him. Except we'll do it to the other side here. So now, I'm going to hit spacebar to play it. And there the, there the light goes. Now about the same point, let's press enter again for the camera. That's going to give us another another keyframe to tell the camera to stay in place this whole time. 
Let's drag this out a little bit longer, I guess. And let's have the camera move over to the other side here so you can see his eye. And then at that same point, let's add another value to the material parameter. Make sure that's still at 1 so that the damage will have been applied this whole time. And then let's make a new one where the damage turns off. There we go. Alright, and that's what we've got so far. Let's go ahead and add a fade track, just to be awesome. Uh, so, right click on director group. Oh, sorry. Right click on director group. Go to new fade track. Start at the very beginning. Press enter once. And go about to a second in or so. Now, and add a second one. Now, go back to your first one. Set value to 1. So now it'll fade in. And then right at the end. Let's add two more, about a second apart, and add the last one, or set the last one to one. So now the camera goes over here, and then the camera fades out. And then that's where the matinee ends. So, that's pretty much it. You should now be able to uh, animate textures, well, or at least affect them dynamically through matinee.